for us. No more room in hell. The dead will walk here. What's up, horror fiends? Love is in the air. I am Ricky Grimes. I'm here with my boy, Joel, the psychologist. You're watching Three Corners of Horror. JR is not here tonight. He is back on assignment. When he comes back, he's got some good shit for y'all. Anyways, it's Valentine's Day, and we're going to be talking some good, wholeheartedly horror movie that Joe recommended. So, Joe. The psychologist, son. What's good, brother? How are you? I'm good. I'm good. Yeah, happy Valentine's. By the way, happy Valentine's Day, Adam. Happy so, Valentine's Day, Sophie. Love you. Love you. So, well, Adam. I love you too, Sophie. <laughs> <laughs> we love everybody here at Horror Fiend TV. But yeah, no. Um, well, What's good? Honestly, last year we did uh, My Bloody Valentine. I mean, our episodes drop on Tuesdays. So it's dropping on Valentine's Day. We have to do something. So Valentine, I mean, it 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 came down towards the end of the '90s slasher. But, 2001, you know, 2001, like yeah. right at the end. But yeah. you know, like That's I said, hey, yeah, yeah, it's Valentine's. So if if you you want a Valentine's Day horror movie, maybe this is it. Maybe this is it. Valentine, 2001. Directed by Jamie Blanks, director of Urban Legend. This film stars Marley Shelton as Kate, Denise Richards as Paige, Jessica Capshaw as Dorothy, and David Boreanaz as Adam Carr. Joe the Psychologist, what's up? Now this film, man, I gotta be honest. Um, When you told me we're gonna do this film, I'm like, awesome. I haven't seen this, you know? As I'm watching it, I'm like, fuck. I've seen this, <laughs> but it was a while ago, so I don't rem- I don't remember much. But all I know is Catherine Heigl. Oh my God, did I love her back in the day? I still got that Maxwell magazine, bro. I was like, yes, I've seen this film. So yes, this film here, I thought it was fun, not great. It's a lot of cliches, if you want to say that. Tropes. Um, a lot of tropes, a lot of tropes. That's yeah, that's a very good word for it. But I thought it was. A very enjoyable. If you go in just looking for a, a slasher, just got some hot chicks in there, some hot guys, this is the film for you. So how about you, man? What what, what you thought about this film? I mean, as you said, uh, I, 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 all right, I'm not going to lie. I've probably seen this movie like five or six times. It, yeah. It's one of those that you can put in as a guilty pleasure. And it's short. You know, and it's short. You know, you're flipping around. There's nothing on. You know, you're looking for horror. If you have cable, if, you know, unless you're streaming, you can find something. But if you have cable and you're looking around and there's nothing on, all of a sudden you're like, hey, Valentine is on. It's a fun movie, as you said. Yeah. So uh, for Adam and I, it has Denise Richards. Oh, like both of, Denise. both of us, you know, even though he and I are together, we both have a, you know, crush on Denise Richards. Oh. I mean, David Boreanaz, I mean, hello, Angel. Yeah. I mean, Buffy, Angel. Yeah. his own show um but yeah it, it's just a fun movie um if, if if you're not gonna dissect it you'll actually enjoy it yeah it is fun that's a good word for it. it's it go in there not expecting you know scream or nothing but if you've got an hour and a half you want to kill i think it's a good option for you it is but you know here's the other thing like this movie so with all movies you have killers who have to wear a mask what did you think of Cupid's mask? Cupid's mask on first sight, I was not impressed with it. It was, I don't want to say basic because Michael Myers is as basic as it is, <laughs> but because it was so expressionless and just white and it's Captain Kirk, it works. And this one here, it's not the mask that did it for me, it was the individual himself. He was smart, he was cunning. Very vicious. I mean, he fucked you up. Again, it's ain't terrifier. There's no gore in it, but no, no. he still fucks you up, whether it's with a, a an iron or if it's like a, a just a regular steak knife. To the broken glass. From broken the glass. Shower. Yeah. <laughs> Even uh, he put a, a powered drill 
threw that shit into an actual jacuzzi with Denise Richards Denise, inside. Denise. <laughs> he, he he fucked people up. He did. He did. Um, but again, I I I liked the killer as a character. The mask didn't do it for me, but but it worked. In the long scheme of things, I think it did work because it is Valentine. It makes sense. And I did like the blood gag whenever he would kill someone and he would like bleed. Basically, yeah. So in short, I thought he was a good villain character. Basic and by the end, I will say it kind of uh, it didn't really make a lot of sense in my opinion. But how about you, man? How do, what the mask do for you, son? I'm All a right. big mask guy, by the way. Me, I, you too. Yes, me too. you too. Huge, huge. So, Ma- the mask makes everything. So yes, yes. The, the thing I... All right. So the thing I didn't like was that it was quickly referred to as a Cupid mask. It quickly. was a ch- cherub. Cherub. It's actually yeah. a cherub. And yes, I know that Cupid is essentially a cherub angel. However, nobody refers to him that way. I worked in a furniture store and we sold paintings and stuff like that. And the, the face were cherubs. <laughs> so they, that's with how they were referred. Yo, the I, nosebleed I... part that you mentioned, what I didn't, so, okay. So the mask, kind of think about it, it's the same kind of mask we would wear back in the 80s. So if you had a nosebleed, it's not gonna come out the whole of your mask. It's oh, literally just gonna so... run down. Your neck. Oh man, so you're saying you just fucking blew my mind. So if you're wearing a Ben Cooper Halloween mask, you're right. That's not <laughs> gonna not, happen. It's not gonna, it's literally not gonna come out. It's it, it'll come down the side. Now, yeah. had they done that, had they done that, that would have been a great way of them kind of revealing things in the movie. Because you know, it's a who done it. Why why is this person doing it? Red herrings. Oh, Red herrings. Yeah. So right in the beginning, you had like you know the nosebleed on a character. Yeah. So you're seeing that the angel or cherub or you know Valentine's got the nosebleed. It, yeah, like that. That that was my problem with the mask. You gotta suspend your disbelief in order to. You do. You yeah. do. However, for the for me as a horror person, the way that I would have been hiding who the person was actually is if you would have seen. The blood come out from under you. Yeah, you're, you're seeing the nose bleed. You, you're seeing that's a all- good show. That's a good show. I never, I didn't think about that. Like I said, <laughs> it, 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 because it was just too much. What well, would have been Holy- good though, if you said it, but if they would have had the blood dripping down, not every kill. That that was a little too much, honestly. Yeah, but during let's say halfway through the kills, then you see the blood dripping down. You're like, oh, wait a minute, okay, now it's definitely. The kid from the beginning, but and, and to be cliched and even saying this right now, having the blood come out of the nose and the mask was a little too on the nose. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they included that gag was for the big reveal at the end of the film. Yes. Did you figure out who the killer was before we got to the end of the film? Oh, that's one hundred percent. Did you? Yeah. I mean, All did, right. you, did you? Now let me ask you: when when you're watching this film. A lot of red herrings. We've been through Scream. I know what you did last summer. Urban Legend. Now, when it comes to Valentine, this is like you said, tail end of that, of that era. Did you figure it out before it was revealed? So, for me, it's revealed that one person's a killer, but it's actually the who they reveal is the killer is not the killer, because it wasn't Dorothy. It was still Jeremy. It was Adam. Jeremy. Yeah, it was Adam. It was Adam. Yeah, but but the way they made it look in the movie was that yeah, 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 yeah. it wasn't. Yes, there wasn't. Right, I, I knew that right away. Bro. Right, so <laughs> this motherfucker was huge, bro. Right, so for me, like having Dorothy kind of be the way they try to make it look like because it it wasn't. It was him. It was him. It was Adam. Yeah, but painted as Dorothy being the killer and but the actual reveal you know when he's holding on to Kate you know she got the blood drop and let me if, 
if something she don't my, feel that right if something hits my face the first thing i'm thinking is that the bird just shit on me mind you <laughs> blood is blood is warm man <laughs> yes but it just she's sitting there she's like another drop and i'm like did you not feel that yeah, you, you know what, you, you killed but no day, the, 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 the first time around because of the way that no. the actual reveal is i thought it was actually dorothy to be honest with you i, I thought that maybe she herself kind of was triggered with everything that had happened with yeah. Jeremy and that day. She brought up that she was fat, you know, that they were. Yeah. They, they... Uh, one thing, she was not fat. Did you see that little kid at the beginning of the movie? Okay, but you, you're. Oh, I know what you're going to say. You you're... have to think about, you're looking at it as yes, a child yes, yes. They, and they, a teenager. Yes, yes, I agree. And, and they were looking at it as they know she was not fat you're but right. when you're you're at that age if you are you're not real thin everybody yeah. else is fat yes you're right yep. so like i i i i loved that i thought it was her and then when you realize that it oh you fell just, for that <laughs> i kind of the, the my, this is my first right, watch i'll let you finish and i'll, my, I'll, I'll you doesn't know no, my first first watch mm -hmm. like i was like I, th I thought it was her because it just, you know, like a lot of things, like, you know, her, her life isn't great. If, if you watch, she's dating somebody for a month and lets him move in. And he basically is like stealing from her. Yeah. Gives her a necklace that Campbell. he stole, <laughs> stole Campbell, that he stole from the girl that he just freaking robbed from. You know what I mean? Yeah, so, yeah. like, it was a perfect character of somebody who just continuously had. Let people walk all over her. And she finally had enough. So you thought it, you thought it was Campbell? Originally. No, I thought no, no. I thought it was Dorothy. Oh, but when you first saw no, forget the reveal at the end. But before they got to that, who was no, on your? On your I radar? thought it was Dorothy the whole time. I thought it was Dorothy the whole time. For me, for me, I thought that I thought Adam was actually the red herring, yeah. but I thought it was Dorothy Be yeah. because, like, the way I looked at it was like you know I grew up fat myself, so being like. The fat kid that can actually get revenge on people, you know. I mean, I won't do it. So if any of my friends, or not friends, or people who picked on me when I was fat start <laughs> dropping right now, I'm not the one that did it. I promise you. It wasn't but... me. Cake's character is the main character. You follow her the most. So the person she's associated with is Adam. So that's gonna tell. Okay, we're getting a lot of time with Kate. And I watch a lot of horror movies to know that whenever one character is focused on, they're going to matter at the end. They're if not going to kill Kate. If yes. I can interrupt you for a second. You can, yes. So where's Kate from? A new movies. A new movies? Uh, bro, I, you know what I love her from? And this is not a new no, movie. No, 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 no. Don't tell me what you've done. I love no, no. I know. Don't tell me what, what 2022 movie did she meet her end in? Marley Shelton was in a 2022 movie? That she met her end in after being introduced in another movie. Mm -hmm. I saw it. Da -na, you did. Yep. Give me a clue. Da -na, I need a clue. Scream? Yep. She's the, the, she's the cop. Adam was attached to her in this film. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. No, I know. She was an alcoholic. And they already explained that um, Jeremy got locked up. He went into all types of different juvenile yeah. places, mental health places. He ran into some dark shit. So you know he became an alcoholic. And they mentioned when that ball cop who was hitting on Paige the entire time, which <laughs> I don't blame him. Anyway, I wouldn't put my hand on nobody's title. That's a little fucking weird. But he had mentioned, and this is a quick line that they threw there, and I knew it. He said, they or someone mentioned plastic surgery. Surgery. Because they did, they were doing the facial recognition. So, all of a sudden, when Paige is complaining to Adam about her weird neighbor, Gary, that he's fucking like weirding her out, what happens like a couple scenes later? Gary fucking he gets does. killed. Yeah. So, okay. Oh. Uh, you know what I'm saying? So, this. Yeah. So, I, by that time, I already knew. I already had Adam on my radar because of the fact he was associated with Kate. And as the film went along, they kept doing the plastic surgery. They're doing the alcohol, the um, alcoholism. 
and he killed Gary after Kate had complained that he was weirding her out. He didn't kill Kate because he really does love Kate. He wants to be with her, obviously. Damn, so I didn't like now that you put that because when I rewatched it for this, yeah, like I, I'm like it's kind of random that he killed this guy. Very random. And now, well, now that you say that, <laughs> it's not random when you think about it. <laughs> now that you say that, that's why I'm like, oh shit. So mm -hmm. like again, after my fifth watch, you just point out something that because I always like it's kind of yeah. random that this guy yep. gets it. So somebody's watching. Look at that. I thought I. I guess I thought somebody was watching, but yeah. Ah. I knew it yeah. wasn't Campbell. It was too on the nose because he was weird from the get-go. You could tell he was a scumbag. You know, he was trying to rip her off, obviously. Before we close this out, any other points you want to hit? By yeah. the way, Catherine Heigl hated this fucking movie. Well, <laughs> when she read the script, she only read her parts and that was it. So when she saw the rest of the film, she's like, oh my God, why did I do this? You know what? I'm going to be honest with you. When I watched this film, I did not give it no score, no rating. I just had fun with it it's a holiday episode we're doing today we knew um our brother wasn't gonna be here so we, you know let's have some fun with this i want to have a fun watch a movie have fun watch it with your significant other have a good time but what do you what you close your thoughts rate it and i'll think about it and i'll go off what you're gonna say all right so again cheers to you brother by the way cheers last tip for this one <laughs> i can like <laughs> shot for this one so um it's a fun movie like it like honestly for me this it, we're rating this for the show but this is something that you can put under your guilty pleasure it, it's something that you're flip like i said you're flipping around nothing else is on you're looking for horror and, and if you have cable tv and you're paying all that money with nothing on and you're looking for something for horror and valentine's pop valentine i'm sorry valentine pops up you're you're gonna stop and it, it it's a guilty pleasure where you know, can you find this film um it's it's on tubi <laughs> i'm sorry i'm not a commercial person I'm not but a, it's on yeah. tubi people it's, it is on tubi tubi's um, awesome because that's so much variety but it's the commercials it gives you a pee out. break you get a pee break i don't want a pee break bro imagine you smoke a nice fat one right and you got commercials in there. It takes you out. Like, I, that's, However, that's me. during the commercial break, you could pack a bowl, but, you know, that's just me. I'm sorry. That's not me. But, yeah, it is on Tubi TV. You know, check it out. If you're one of those fortunate people who have a DVD, you know, put that in again. Check it out. If it's not been a while, it's not available anywhere else. I don't think it's even available for rent. No. Oh, I don't know about that. I didn't check that. Though. I didn't check that either. If I were going to shit on it. I would go at 2.5. But this is a Valentine's Day episode. This is more of a fun episode. We're not reviewing something new for you to watch. We're doing something more of the holiday. Yeah. Um, if I'm going to put in a lot of factors, there's there's actually good kills in it. But I, I'm, I'd i give this a 3.5. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to cut you off right there. That was my score, too, before... As I was assessing you right now, when you mentioned the two point, I'm like, nah, this is there's more than that. Three point five is an excellent score for this film because it's fun. It is. Go, don't expect nothing amazing. It's got a good cast of uh, the cast is really good. Forget we're not all right. We like to joke yeah, around. Yeah, cast is. <laughs> Forget you know. Yes, it has hot people in it, but it's a good cast though. You know what I'm saying? It's the cast is good. Um, but the only thing I don't like, and it takes points off, is the killer to me, in my opinion. I knew right off the bat, from the very moment Adam was introduced and the movie kept processing, he was on my list, number one. And normally when I watch movies like this, I got one person, number one. As the movie goes on, all right, number two, number three, number four, he could, they keep going down. He stayed at my number, number one, one for the entire film because I kept picking up on everything. So, and he's, mind you, uh, Kate told him, you're no angel. Obviously, that's a oh, oh, angel. Oh, shit. I didn't so, know. they're not going to have a, an actor of his caliber and status during that time just be a nobody. So, I knew he had to be the killer because of his, his star power, you know? He was big 
during the Look night. Look at you picking up that line. <laughs> I never picked up that line. You didn't get that? No. That's why I did you, that was the actual like, yeah, reaction. She said like, that. What? She like, said that, yeah. Oh, wow. She said it. Yeah, you know Angel. I'm like, oh, there he goes. Uh... The Angel reference. But yeah, 3.5. If you guys, again, we're not trying to make people watch this movie. It's Valentine's nah. Day. If you want a fun movie to watch, just put it on. It's 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 entertaining. That's Sometimes what 90s slashers were, though. 90s slashers were very entertaining. This movie had like a, a very like a ten million dollar budget, bro, and they aired an ad during the Super Bowl, which to this day holds the record for the the cheapest ad ever. No, nah, wow. <laughs> yes, and not only that though, the feel like forget that the budget itself was minuscule. You know what I'm saying? And um, you said it. The guy directed Urban Legend, and he went to this film. Well, he wanted you. Know who he wanted for this? He wanted, uh, um, uh, what's your name? Rebecca Greyheart, right? That's her name. Oh, I Rebecca love Greyheart. her. But <laughs> she said, "I don't want to be typecast in horror films." So yeah, because she it. did Urban but Legend. Yeah, she did some. He liked her for <laughs> Urban Legend, though. That's but why. He, yeah, but she did so many trashy horror movies after this. Yeah, that, come on, what the? Well, fuck? she was actually no. Hold on, not saying trashy. She was in Scream Two. She was one of the um, sorority girls. But well, Scream Two was after this. Alexa, when did Scream Two come out? The film Scream Two Inches was released on December 12th, 1997. So it was after. Bro, my graduation year. Yep, <laughs> I'm that old guy. So. <laughs> we all cheer for big bottles of beer. That's what we do. Hover Fiend TV. My name is Rick Grimes. Joe the Psychologist. Joe, take us home, my brother. I'm leaving this up to you. All right, guys. So, happy Valentine's. Thank you for checking out the episode. If you didn't watch it on Valentine's Day, well, shame on you. But no, thanks for checking us out. Happy Valentine's. Don't get it. And stay scared.